Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for watching my video. Stay tuned to see how I create this beautiful fall wedding centerpiece. I will also have ads throughout the video. I appreciate if you watch them. I'm now monetized, so I appreciate your support. So stay tuned to see how I create this beautiful centerpiece. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm Lisa Natash. Today I have another centerpiece video for you. Um, fall is coming up, okay? So I decided to do um a centerpiece for with a fall theme so the colors are going to be like um yellowish orangish brown tones and so forth it's very pretty i'm going to show you the flowers that i have now all the flowers that i'm going to be using they're from the dollar tree so very very affordable and these are really really pretty flowers now i decided to make the stand and i came up with this idea and i'm gonna just put it into play so you know create something and I'm hoping that it's gonna look great so I got this piece of wood from Home Depot and this is lengthwise 37 I think I wrote it down somewhere 36 inches length by 7 inch that's the diameter okay so it's gonna be a tall um centerpiece stand and this was pretty cheap i don't remember how much oh this was 12 dollars, and i bought it just like this i didn't get it cut it was just like this so i bought four four of these dowels they're square dowels and there are there are 35 and a half length and a diameter is um one and a half and if you notice them they're kind of curved and i they were straight and i decided to curve them according to the style of stand that I'm going to create. I have, you know, I have a design in my head. I'm going to see if it will, you know, look good when I create it. And I believe that it will. Now, if you notice, there's a curvature to the dowels. And how I got this curve was that I soak it in the tub in hot water. And I think I left it in there for like around 20 minutes and I weighed it down so it stays um, submerged. And afterwards, I put them together. They were nice and straight. And I put them between um, my panel for my, in my living room, basically. I'm going to insert a clip right here, pick of, you know, what I did. It was just something, this amateur, honestly, just stick it in between um, the panels with a towel. And I held, I held it with some weights to kind of bend it to give me a curve. And what I'm going to do is I am going to attach them to the big, bigger piece of the wood like so. And they're going to have a curved look like so. You see how curved that is? Now, this I got at the dollar store. It's just a wall decor. And I'm going to use it for the base for what where I'm going to add the floral foam and then attach the flowers on top of that. So this is going to be on top of this bad boy right here like so okay like that very easy and I am then going to after I put it all together I'm going to spray paint it with this Rust-Oleum metallic gold spray and I got this at Home Depot for like five dollars and change four dollars and change okay so okay so I'm going to go ahead and put the stand together and I will be right back have completed um, putting the stand together and spraying it and I also went ahead and add some jewel border stickers from um, the Dollar Tree and this is what they look like I got the gold one and to show you what this looked like after spraying it that's the base and that's the top okay that's where I'm going to put the um, floral foam. I'm also going to be adding um, 
some pearls to this decor and I'm in the process of stringing the white pearls that I show you when I, you know, I spray painted them. All right, so now I am going to go ahead and add the flowers to the stand and, and the type of flowers I'm going to be using, they're all from the Dollar Tree and I have um, Drippin' Blossom, they're very pretty. Uh, Flocking Ball, Chrysanthemum. This is called um, Amaranthus. Got mini Mums here, and they is also a mini Chrysanthemum. Okay. I think I have one more. Okay, yes, more than one. I have Willow here, Fall Grass. I have wheat and there is this one called Dahlia and then I have the mini pomegranate. In this part of the video, I'm just going to speed up. string the gold beads that I sprayed and um, just hang them on the stand to okay so now I'm going to show you what it looks like from top to bottom thank you so much for watching my video thank you for watching it all the way to the end I definitely appreciate all of you for watching um, remember to comment below like share and subscribe um, please don't be afraid to ask questions okay Thank you so much. I appreciate you all. Thank you and I will see you in my next video. Bye.